What's up guys, my name is Dean aka the Blue Crusader and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how you can actually get all of the Counter-Strike source materials for Gary's mod completely free. So I'm going to be showing you two methods, one method which is using the Steam Workshop and a second method which is using an external website. So one disclaimer is I actually own Counter-Strike Source, so downloading these materials isn't inherently bad for me, but for other people I'm not really sure what the actual rules are on this if you're allowed to download the content in this form, so do be wary and be suspicious of your actions when doing this, but I know a lot of people who do use these methods, especially the Steam Workshop one which is actually verified on the workshop, so that method is fine to use. Both methods actually do work and if you don't own Counter-Strike Source you may need the content and materials to run certain maps or actually have certain textures or materials on certain maps in game modes such as TTT, Murder and Dark RP. So without further ado I'm going to be showing you these two methods on how to get the CSS content for Gary's mod completely free and simple. So first of all what you want to do is you want to go to the Steam Workshop. As you can see here I'm just on the basic workshop and I'm going to go to my subscribed items down here just to show you what everything looks like and here we have a few different various things I'm sub to but what the real meat of the content is is this Counter Strike Source content right here. So if we click on it here, we'll click on part 2 because it's the first in the list. Right, we're on the Counter-Strike Source Materials Pack Part 2 content pack and it's by a user called MikeMick44. So if you want to search his name or just search this in the Steam Workshop, we're just going to copy and paste this. And we're going to search it in the Steam Workshop just to show you how you guys can actually find this. So you want to search Counter-Strike Content Part 2 and it'll jump up or you can type in part one alternatively and we can just click on the content here. So another cool thing is if you want to find the other parts they are actually listed on the side here and what you want to do is basically just click subscribe to each part of the pack and when you load Gary's mod all of your missing textures or materials should be showing up and it's as simple as that. There is only one side effect of both these methods which I'll be showing you. If you don't own Counter Strike as a game, you won't see most of the weapons being held properly by the player models. This is just because how the holding animations and systems work because you don't actually own the game. But apart from that, everything will look visually normal and completely fine. So you want to subscribe to all the items just like so to actually get all the materials. And I'm going to be showing you the second method to use if you either can't do this method or if you want to just download all the add-on materials in bulk and put them in your folder. Okay, see so what you want to do is you want to go on your internet browser and you want to go to a website called kajar9.wixsite.com slash cscheater2 slash downloads. So this is a handful to remember and you probably won't even know what I'm talking about, but for that reason I'm going to actually include the link in the description below. So if you want to download the materials the link will be below and basically you'll be greeted by a bit of a confusing website with a lot of different links and such, but it does have a tutorial on how you can do everything, so basically how you extract everything and I will put the information here so you can actually look at it and pause the video but basically I'll show you just how simple it is so what you want to do is you want to download which is actually preferable to you and this has been updated to the most recent CSS patch as well you want to basically download the game content you don't really need the maps click on one of these and download the game content and you'll need an extractor software such as WinRAR or 7-zip which is an archiver software to open the zip or raw files which you actually receive from the download. So once you've downloaded it and extracted it, what you need to do is you need to go to your Gary's Mod add-ons folder, which is on your C drive, program files, 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod and add-ons. And once you've done that, we will actually have our add-ons folder here. And I know you can't see some of these add-ons because of my camera, but you don't really need to see them. What's important is that you do go to this folder listed above and you need to drag your folder into here. So I'm just going to make things visible for you and basically here is my CSS content folder which I've extracted and it needs to be one folder which includes all of these folders inside. So materials, models, particles, anything it includes and you just dump this in your add-ons folder and it needs to be a folder which is only one way. So what I mean by this is the folder and then these folders within that folder. This is basically all you need to get everything working on Gary's mod and everything free. This was a pretty short tutorial because it's really simple and then just launch Gary's mod and everything should have mounted and be available to use. If it doesn't work at first, restart Steam and restart Gary's mod and as long as the files do mount themselves as the workshop files or the materials in your add-ons do load, everything should work fine. So if this video helped you, definitely click like on the video and let me know below and subscribe to the channel for daily Fortnite videos and more on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.
I'll see you next time.